Envisioneer has powerful and efficient tools for documenting buildings. In this lesson, we will look at how to create wall panel diagrams. We are going to use the pole barn created in the pole barn's tutorial video as an example. As you draw walls in Envisioneer, each wall is tagged with a panel number. Each panel number corresponds to an automatically generated wall panel diagram that shows the wall's framing in detail along with a member schedule for the wall panel. By default, these wall panel tags are hidden. To activate wall panel tags, open your view filter, expand tags marks, unlock framing panel tag, click the corresponding eyeball icon to make them visible. Click OK to exit the view filter dialog. To open the wall panels dialog, select tools wall panels. You can also bring up the wall panels dialog by double clicking a wall panel tag in your 2D plan or by selecting a tag, right clicking it and selecting edit wall panels. In the wall panels dialog box, click on a panel's name in the left pane. The top right preview pane displays an annotated framing diagram for the selected wall. The lower right panel displays the wall layout of the building location on which the currently selected wall panel exists. The currently selected wall panel is highlighted in red so that you know which one you're looking at within the model. Select Options Panel Configuration. To define a naming convention for wall panels, select Panel Tags in the left pane of the dialog. There are several settings on the right side of the dialog. First, default start number. The number at which panel numbering starts by default. Note that this setting applies to walls that will be drawn and has no effect on walls that have already been drawn. Next, prefix. Here you could enter a set of characters that appear before the panel number. For example, if you specify a prefix of WP, the panels would be named WP1, WP2, etc. Next, add location data before prefix. Displays either the location name or location number before the prefix. If you do not want to add location data to the prefix, ensure that none is selected in the Dropbox. Next, suffix. Here you could enter a set of characters that appear after the panel number. Next, add location data after suffix. Displays either the location name or location number after the suffix. For example, if a panel named 2 exterior resides on the ground floor location and you select location name to add to the suffix, the panel would be named 2 exterior ground floor. If you do not want to add location data to the suffix, ensure that none is selected in the Dropbox. Last, default panel view side. This is the side of the wall that you are viewing as indicated by the arrow on the wall panel tag in your 2D plan. The left or right side of the wall depends on the direction in which a wall is drawn. To explain this, Let's exit the dialog box and return to the model. Imagine yourself standing at the wall's start point, denoted by the green square grip point, and looking towards the wall's end point, denoted by the red square grip point, to determine if the left or the right is the desired view side. Note, this is the default view side for all walls that will be drawn. Once your walls are drawn, you can flip the view side of individual panels using the Flip Panel View Side tool. Let's return to the Wall Panels dialog box. Select Options Panel Numbering. Using this dialog, you can customize the wall panel numbering order on each building location after your walls have been drawn. You can choose a different panel start number or specify custom numbering options, 
for exterior walls, interior load-bearing walls, and interior non-load-bearing walls. Instead of numbering panels in the order in which walls are drawn, you can number them in a specific direction. For example, you can number exterior walls in a clockwise or a counterclockwise direction, or number interior vertical walls from left to right or right to left. You would then click Sort Panels to resort according to your changes and exit the dialog box. Let's insert the wall panel diagrams onto worksheets. To do so, left click to select the first panel in the list, and then, holding down the shift key, select the last panel in the list. All the panel diagrams are now selected. Click the Insert Panels button. A new worksheet is automatically created for each panel diagram. Click Close to exit the Wall Panels dialog box and view the worksheets. As you can see, each new worksheet is given a number corresponding to the Wall Panel diagram, which is inserted onto it. Each diagram has a number of automatically generated dimensions and quantity counts. First, a list of running dimensions for the spacing of vertical members along the bottom. Second, a list of dimensions on center for the spacing of vertical members along the top. Third, a list of running dimensions for the spacing of horizontal members along the left. And last, a quantified list of wall members below the diagram with a tag, usage, description, count, and length for each. If you want to edit the setup of your wall panel diagrams, there are a number of settings you can adjust in the Panel Configuration dialog, accessed via the Wall Panels dialog. As you can see here, you can control Insertion Settings, Text and Dimension Styles, Panel Content, Dimensions, and Schedule. You can also insert several of your wall panel diagrams onto one of the single preset default worksheets if you prefer this to having them laid out on their own individual sheets. To do so, go to Tools, Wall Panels. Select the first wall panel in the list. Click on Insert Panel on Current Worksheet. Click in the worksheet space to place the diagram. Repeat this process for the remainder of your wall panel diagrams, setting up the layout of your drawings on the worksheet to suit your own personal building project. Click Close to exit the wall panels dialog when you are finished. Once you've inserted your wall panel diagrams onto worksheets, you can print them or export them as PDF or DWG files to share them with others involved in your building project. As you can see, generating wall panel diagrams for your building is quick and simple in Envisioneer. Be sure to visit our Online Learning Resources Center for more helpful information on how to get the most out of CADSoft Envisioneer.